Last month, it was hard to breathe, and that's really scary. Um, it's, it's not new, but it's scary. <sighs> I've always kept a journal. It's like an outlet for me. Uh, it's, it's a quiet time, it's a reflection time. And then one year that journal turned into a book. Um, <laughs> I needed an outlet. Um, I had such immense sadness going on in my body at that time that I needed something to release it because I felt my body was failing me. And I remember thinking, oh Lord, get me to the next day. But now sometimes it's, Lord, would you help me get to the next moment? It is a disease that takes a young life and makes one old. It's a disease without a cure. It's a disease of hopelessness, of disappointment, of a crushing reality that may not lift. Mostly it calls for a life decision to choose love and joy as default when reality may wish otherwise. I've had MS for 25 years, and honestly, it just gets harder. That's the real truth. Um, it's really hard to live in front of the people you love and not being able to serve them physically. Um, that would be the hardest. Shoot. So I turn to prayer. I've always been a student of prayer. Um, sometimes it's just plain ridiculous not being able to put my own shoes on. So I started to write out my feelings and journal my thoughts. It really helped. It was an outlet I needed. My to-do lists are so much shorter now. There is comfort in this. I know that parties are good but I don't commit to many anymore as I hate canceling on people. I just started to say no, mostly to baby showers. <laughs> oh. Instead, I choose to pray while kneeling, pray while se seated, pray while crying, and then screaming. <laughs> Life is so real sometimes that all I can do is go to the cross. Mm. Yeah, the cross is where I go to daily. It's like my kitchen table. I need to lean into it daily. Mm. It holds up my suffering. It holds up my head. The cross does that. It holds us up. It takes a whole orchestra of help just to get me out of the house. So I started to pray for people to come around my kitchen table. So they do, and we talk. We talk about everything. We talk about suffering. I really don't want to share my suffering, but I think that would grieve my Lord. So we talk. We talk because he knows. <sighs> like Christ on the cross, the man of sorrows, he knows. <sighs>